Hi, my name is Stephen Proctor. I'm a visual artist and I'm living in the Columbia River Gorge. And this is my house with Yakisugi siding. Specifically, I chose to go with Gendai Black. Why don't you come on in and I'll show you around. So this is the national scenic area known as the Columbia River Gorge. It's about 45 minutes outside of Portland, Oregon, right across the river from Cascade Locks. I mean, it was just a dream finding this piece of property and uh, I had no expectations of having this. Um, I was just kind of looking for plots of land out 45 minutes outside of Portland and just lucked out on this piece. So I went with Den Outdoors for the construction plans and we made a few custom modifications and uh, we went from there and kind of made the choices along the way. You know, especially if you want to do something that's affordable, innovative, creative, has an aesthetic or design sensibility about it. And so kind of in this world of like, I just don't want to go buy a typical house in the suburb, something that's on the market. I want to build my custom dream home. I'm drawn to, as many people are these days, to Scandinavian minimalist, Nordic minimalism, and that sense of, you know, there's, a, there's an aesthetic, a design quality, uh, but it's also very comfortable and homey. And I've always been really uh, attracted, especially since working with Yakisugi, uh, to black wood uh, complemented or accented with natural wood kind of a more of a before and after. And so I wanted to continue that theme on the inside by going with certain black appliances with, uh, you know, wood handles. Uh, this is a maple table that my builder found. I've got my photo books. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. This is a paperback edition that was owned by my uncle Steve. Uh, who I was named after. There's a couple of, you know, travel magazines and tiny house books and uh, some Japanese architecture and some Celtic design and spirituality stuff. It all started my love for the black and the natural wood with this uh, coffee tea uh, mug situation. Just like I did with Nakamoto, wanted to read a little bit more about it. And uh, they were saying how this is kind of kind of the perfect harmony of Scandinavian design accented with Japanese tea culture. I've been participating uh, even as an artist uh, in tea ceremonies uh, in a couple of different spots. And so everything kind of started with, with this and then just from the outside to the inside, everything kind of started turning into the whole you know, Scandinavian with hinted with a little bit of Japanese tea culture. You do want something that is beautiful, that has a beautiful, unique form that uh, both stands out, it's unique, but it also blends in. And black siding really blends in with the forest here. Even my neighbors have remarked like, wow, that's the, the wood is really striking. And at the same time, it blends in and doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. In the process, I was told it's going to take an extra month for it to show up from Japan. And it just didn't occur to me. I knew this was an authentic Japanese process, but I didn't realize, oh, they're farming and milling this wood, this lumber, this timber in Japan. Things were just kind of connecting the dots and I started to realize like this charred siding and this learning that Nakamoto was the only provider in North America and was located in Portland, the city I had just moved to. Everything just kind of made sense. So I knew going forward, like when I build my, my dream home, it's gotta be with Nakamoto.